Hello and welcome to another installment of STD Zip with me, Alicia. On today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases worldwide, chlamydia. Chlamydia infection is a common sexually transmitted disease or STD caused by the bacterium Chlamydia trichomatis. The term chlamydia infection can also refer to infection caused by any species belonging to the bacterial family Chlamydiaceae. Chlamydia is a major infectious cause of human genital and eye disease. It's one of the most common sexually transmitted infections worldwide. It is estimated that about 1 million individuals in the United States are infected with chlamydia. In 2011, approximately 1.4 million cases of chlamydia were reported to CDC from 50 states and the District of Columbia. But an estimated 2.86 million infections occur annually. A large number of cases are not reported because most people with chlamydia are asymptomatic and do not seek testing. Chlamydia is most common among young people. Its prevalence among sexually active young people aged 14 to 24 years is nearly three times the prevalence among people aged 25 to 39 years. It is estimated that 1 in 15 sexually active females aged 14 to 19 years has chlamydia. Chlamydia is transmitted through sexual contact with the penis, vagina, mouth, or anus of an infected partner. Ejaculation does not have to occur for chlamydia to be transmitted or acquired. Chlamydia can also be spread perinatally from an untreated mother to her baby during childbirth, resulting in ophthalmia neonatorum or pneumonia in some exposed infants. People who have had chlamydia and have been treated may get infected again if they have sexual contact with a person infected with chlamydia. Chlamydia is known as the silent infection for nothing. Most people who have contracted this disease don't notice any symptoms and so don't know they have it. Research suggests that 50% of men and 70 to 80% of women don't get symptoms at all with chlamydia infection. For those who do experience symptoms, they may include pain when you urinate, unusual discharge from the penis, vagina or rectum, or in women, bleeding between periods or after sex. For the most part, however, chlamydia is asymptomatic. If you're unfortunate enough to have contracted chlamydia, there's a good chance you won't know about it until you start experiencing the complications. That's why chlamydia is the number one sexually transmitted disease in the U.S. The initial damage that chlamydia causes often goes unnoticed. However, chlamydial infection can lead to serious health problems with both short and long-term consequences. Reactive arthritis can occur in men and women following symptomatic or asymptomatic chlamydial infection. Sometimes as part of a triad of symptoms along with urethritis and conjunctivitis, formerly referred to as Reiter syndrome. One of the more serious complications of chlamydia, however, is the fact that this infection might render many couples incapable of having children. Chlamydia derives its power from its ability to hide in the human body. It has denied many women the joys of motherhood because it usually rears its hideous head after it has inflicted irreversible damage to the critical reproductive organs. It is therefore imperative that sexually active men and women be tested for chlamydia at least once a year. Chlamydia is a relatively easy infection to spread. However, it may be one of the most difficult to detect due to the elusive nature of the disease as well as the misconceptions surrounding it. And that's basically the aim of this video to share knowledge and to dispel the confusion caused by misconceptions. In case where chlamydia is detected, the treatment is with antibiotics and the cure rate is about 95%. Apart from the conventional allopathic treatments, homeopathic, herbal, and other natural medicines are also available and have been found to be quite effective. It is possible to bridge the gap between conventional treatments, natural remedies, and all things in between. 
Please visit acetazip.com for an in-depth explanation on the various neuropathic drugs and homeopathic herbs used for treating chlamydia. You will also find articles on a number of preventative measures you can take to minimize your risk of getting chlamydia as well as preventing future reinfection. Educate yourself with the necessary knowledge to combat chlamydia and get your life back. Thank you for joining us in our continued discussion on sexually transmitted diseases. Don't forget to leave a comment, rate my video, and hit that subscribe button. This is Alicia signing off. Ciao!